Hello, I'm Antonio Barainha, a composer from Brazil. I was raised in Brazil and I started studying music there, being very influenced by my father, who was a pianist, and also by my family, which is uh, my family in general, it's very musical. So they were influencing my tastes in classical music or in pop music. It was a very diverse background. Um, and then, yeah, so I, I started learning the piano when I was younger, like around, I think, seven or eight years old. And then I stopped playing the piano. And I, when I was a teenager, I took very seriously uh, the studies of the guitar, the electric guitar. And that's the, the point, like around 14, 15, I think I started composing and taking very seriously uh, the idea of composing. I studied composition in Rio. Then I moved to Berlin in Germany, uh, where I continued my studies. And afterwards, I moved to LA, where I am right now uh, living. Uh, and I, I just... Uh, in 2022, I graduated in screen scoring at uh, USC, which is one of the main uh, screen scoring programs in the US. Uh, and since then, I've been working here, uh, assisting other composers and uh, also investing in my own projects or like composing for independent movies i'm i'm starting right now my career here so i love i love what i do and uh it's been already I th some 13 14 years of uh career in three different continents which is quite uh an interesting experience in different cultures and uh, yeah, I'm loving my, my life here. Actually, the, the, the truth is I, al I always loved screen scoring, music for media, and I always loved classical music, concert music. And, but anyway, in terms of studying uh, music and studying composition, what made sense for me when I was younger, and it still makes sense, is that if one wants to have a complete musical education, and regardless if a person wants to work with composing music for media, let's say for movies or games, or the person wants to be a concert classical composer, regardless of that, I, I do believe the best musical education in terms of composition is through classical music. I want to study as much as possible um, and as deep as possible classic music. For example, Beethoven, I'm, I'm giving Beethoven as an example, but he's one of the main ones for me. Even though you don't really have much space in theory to, to use Beethoven in screen scoring, in general, of course. Uh, but I do think the foundations of composition you all have, in, in my opinion, in Beethoven, and then it's everything you can apply, the concepts that you study in Beethoven, and you can apply it in different areas the way you want, you know, how to connect different themes and transitions to make a larger structure. Yeah, and once you, you get conscious and, and fluent in this more complex music, in my view, you study a lot of these guys, uh, that makes your life much easier to understand other styles that are more simple. Yeah, that's why I, I studied first classical music a lot, and I still study both of them. Yeah, the gap year uh, is something that I think everyone should do, yeah, regardless of the of the area. The reason why I wanted to do a, a gap year was to be sure. You know, sometimes we have uh, we only see the good sides, the good side of things that we want to do, and I wanted to be sure that I would like to work 
with media, knowing exactly which were the good and bad sides of it. So I took the this one year more, yeah, one year, and it was insane. <laughs> it was, it was. I didn't expect that to happen, but I, I worked. Uh, I worked. It was my first experience working nonstop, lots of sleepless nights. But it was great because I indeed I could see that. I really liked it. I could say that nobody, no, not everyone necessarily would enjoy the life of that much intensity, let's say. But I really enjoyed it, to be frank. I like deadlines. I love teamwork. It was great that I took a gap year and I really advise, uh, I think everybody should do it. Uh, you know, in the during the gap year, I worked with film, theater, games, and video art, which video art, I didn't even know it was possible to work with video art. And it ended up being one of the largest projects that I, I've taken in the gap year. And each one of them were really, really important to develop myself as both composer and also as a person. There is so much like human interaction, you know, you need to, to work together. It's a teamwork, you know, completely different. Uh, with a different set of people, uh, of, you know, people who have a different personality. I think this combination of this variety was what changed my life. If I had to choose one that taught me the most, it's really tricky to say. <laughs> it's really tricky. But I think Chimeric Labs, the, the game company, but the Chimeric Labs, I, I learned a lot about teamwork because I was, I don't, I don't think I was really into, I wasn't fitting that well in this teamwork environment in the beginning. And I became, I, I love, uh, after Chimeric Labs, I started loving creating with many people involved and so on. So I think uh, all the projects I've done with Chimeric were really important for me. Uh, the perfectionism issue. Uh, this is, a, I think, one of the most important things that all composers uh, or maybe artists should learn how to, to handle. And it's not easy. It's something that you develop with years and years. It is important to be perfectionist, you know, so that you can continue to, to grow as an artist, as a composer and learn and be humble and, and all of that. So it is very important to keep a, to to strive to 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 have a very high level. The best way to be perfectionist is to study a lot and prepare yourself a lot. So we are never going to to find perfection, of course. Uh, and the, the problem that I had, I was getting a lot of stress, you know, pressure that I was putting in myself. Really perfectionist, and you want everything perfect and you have deadline and so on, you end up also putting pressure in other people who are working with you. You and your team need, you, you all together need to achieve the highest level possible and that you are capable of. And very often you are not going to be that happy with what you're doing. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's more or less fine, but that that's, <laughs> that's fine. And what I would say is, work hard so that in the next project, you can be much better than you were in this project. 